Hey my friends, how's it going? Well, I'm out here with the 2008 GMC. Uh, um, a couple years ago, I fixed the horn on it for, I fixed the horn on it for a little while and it's broke again. Uh, listen to what it sounds like. This is what I mean by broke. See how it just makes that high pitch sound? Well, there's two horns on this truck. There's one on the passenger side and one on the driver's side. And the one on the driver's side is the one that I'll be replacing. Uh, the one on the passenger side works. And this one over here should work. That's the one I fixed uh, last year or the year before last, but it's, um, it was really hard to get to. And I think that probably what happened is that the wires just came unattached from each other. I don't think uh, I secured the wires to each other good enough. That's, that's my guess anyway. I mean, it worked for a while and then it stopped working. So, and I know that I could barely see it. I was laying on my back, reaching up, trying to get put the wires together. There really wasn't a lot of room. So what I'm gonna do today is do it right or better or whatever you wanna call it. I'm just gonna probably have to take the front wheel off and the inside uh, wheel well out so I can get to it. I might even have to empty the uh, this, uh, window washing reservoir tank because I'll probably have to take that out or at least move it enough where I can get to the horn because it's pretty much behind this. Can't see it from where I'm at. It's behind that reservoir and it's enclosed in a metal box. Uh, and so, I mean, not really a metal box. It's just like a little place where it sits in, but it's metal and there's really no way I can get to it easily. <laughs> so we're going to do the best we can to get it out or uh, get it to where I can um, get those wires really secured on there good. Uh, let me stop talking and get to work. Well, I crawled under the truck because I couldn't, it sounded like, sounded like the horn was coming from the, the side that I said it didn't work. And I was like, it really sounds like it's coming from under there. Let me crawl under here and see. And, uh, oh, you probably can't, you probably can't tell direction from under here. But, uh, this over here is the passenger side. So let's listen. It's coming from over here. So I'm looking under here trying to see where the horn is and I just, I can't. It sounds like it's coming from somewhere around here. But, but I just can't really locate it. And the one that we're gonna replace is right over here. So it's right behind there. <laughs> now I'm back. Oh, and I see that this uh, battery tray here, and it seems like I did that before and I couldn't get to it that way, but since I don't remember, and that looks like the easiest way of doing it, that's what we're going to try first instead of, um, instead of trying to get it from under the wheel well. Yeah, it seems like I could just take this off and get direct access to it. And even if I had to 
take the wheel off, but I, I mean, it looks like it's, it would be really simple just to take that panel off and get right in there to where it is. Yeah, so even if you take off the, that plastic part behind the wheel, is that called the wheel well? I think, I think it is, but anyways. Um, uh, so I'm gonna go in from the top here first. Might be easiest and we'll see what we can do. Removing that tray didn't do much good. We still got this in the way. So next step, let's pull that out. So now back under the truck, this is the pump that pumps the uh, fluid up to your windshield wipers. And so I don't know if pulling this off is going to make all the fluid leak out or not, but I'm just gonna let me remove the sensor real quick. And then I'm gonna pull this and see if it drains. I'll put a bucket under there first. If it doesn't, pretty great and I'll be able to just unbolt this and remove it without having to drain the fluid but if it starts pouring fluid out that's fine too I'll just uh, collect it in a bucket and uh, put it back in there when I'm when I'm done so let's see what happens all right so let's see if I pull this hose out it might shoot everywhere and I don't want it to shoot in my eyes so see what happens or if I can even remove it okay new thought it looks like the plug it looks like the pump is plugged into the bottom of the reservoir and I can't I, I don't want to risk breaking the little pump by pulling that hose off because it's been on there so long and I don't want to break any anything that might be fragile from age but it looks like there is just the it just like pops into the <laughs> Uh, bottom of the reservoir and I know that if I pull it out the fluid is just gonna fall out but I think that's probably my best option is just to pull the pump out from where it's hooked into the reservoir and let the fluid drain out in the bucket and then I'll be able to remove the washer reservoir so let's see how that goes second thought. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just tie the whole reservoir up on the top and so it won't fall because it's so heavy because it's got fluid in it and because this hose goes up here if I just push the whole reservoir up and took it out from the top Maybe I wouldn't have to drain it at all or unplug it or anything. I mean, besides the, the power that I just unplugged from it. But other than that, I could just remove this bottom bolt and remove the bolt that's up at the top and lift the whole thing out. But first I'll have to secure it up there, uh, tie it off to something so it doesn't fall when I remove that bolt. I think that's the best plan. Let me do that. This thing might even be empty for all I know. I 
I think that'll hold it. I think I'll remove the bottom bolt first. Let me go back down, be right back. I figure I'd take you down here with me so we could see where it's at and look. <clears throat> I can't believe that that's what's holding it up. I don't think that's right. Let's see. That's the bolt that I'm talking about right there. So, can't really see it, but that's what I'll be removing now. That's why I'll do this one first, so that it, um, if there's a tie stone hold, it won't fall down on my face, because there's a top bolt holding it up. just have to do it by feel because I cannot see what I'm doing. There we go. Got it. Alright, <laughs> we're halfway there. Got this almost removed and then hopefully we'll have access to the horn. Good enough access where I can work on those wires without and be able to see what I'm doing is the main thing because when I was trying to reach up between the the reservoir it just I really couldn't see what I was doing so removing this hopefully will be a big help we'll see So now let me just uh, cut these zip ties and get this reservoir over to the side so I can access the horn. Yep, it's heavy. Let's see what I can do with it. the hose goes so I can't go out that way. Doesn't look like there's anywhere for it to go. It doesn't go down, it doesn't go up. There's stuff in the way for me to get it out of here. So I think I'm just gonna Go ahead and zip tie it back up here and just hold it out of the way because I can I can see the horn from here a lot better than before so this is probably the best it's gonna be. There was something right here that I could hook it to. That would be great, but there's not. So I'm just gonna have to keep moving it as I work, but it'll be okay. Well, on second thought, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this. I, I'm pulling it up. It's just gonna be in my way. I'm not gonna be able to do the job I wanna do because this reservoir is gonna get, be right in my way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the pump out the bottom, drain it, and get the whole thing out of here. I think that'll be the right thing to do. Whoa! I 
one was way wrong on where that was gonna go. fluid it's like windex there's <laughs> it's not antifreeze or anything but uh whew. that was fun <laughs> okay let me get up but I probably should clean this up real quick we just sealed that concrete a couple of weeks ago and that worked really good. It, it just, it didn't soak into the concrete or anything. I just wiped it up with the rags. So, yeah. All right. Let me get this pump out of here. I mean, this reservoir, empty reservoir now out of here and we'll be good to go. what we are trying to get to so finally finally I got to it now let's see if we can see if any wires are off or why is it not working Sorry, you can't really see what I'm doing, but I got, I'm trying to uh, release this one bolt. I got the ratchet on it and I can feel it's turning. So it's, it's gonna come out and then I'll be able to just remove the whole horn uh, assembly and have a look at it. I got it up and out and looks, looks like everything's connected. But let's see. The other horn is honking, but not that one. Well, 
I hold the camera and I can't take these off with both with one hand. So uh, let me just set the camera down, pull this horn out. We'll test it on the battery, see if it works and figure out what we can do from there. If we need to go up to the store, get a new one or if I can get this one to work. Okay, well, I don't have my multimeter here at this house, but I got two wires and I hooked them to the horn and I'm gonna touch, e touch these wires to the positive and negative terminals on the battery. And we're gonna see, I'm not gonna hold it by this when I do it, <laughs> but I'm gonna hook this up and see if it, see the honks. I'm pretty sure that that's what it's supposed to do when, when I touch these to a power source. So let me set it down can't really get a good view, uh, an angle with this camera. I don't have my camera stand with me, so it's just balanced stuff here on the side of the truck. But I'm just gonna touch the, I'm making sure that there's no other metals around. And I'm just gonna touch that to the negative. There we go. And now when I touch this to the positive, it should make a sound. Nothing. And just for the sake of it, let's switch them. I, I, I don't think it matters. It's both. Uh, this one should be positive and one should be negative. But, well, it will reach. Well, that shouldn't touch metal. Uh -uh. Nothing. So. I'm pretty sure this horn is bad. That's what the problem is. So if I had my multimeter with me, I'd be able to test it for sure, but I don't have it at this house. So I'm just gonna run down to the parts store and get a new horn and come back and hook it up, see if it works. And be back in a minute. And I'm back from the store and this is the old horn and see how it's got that rusty part there and here's the new horn and so I think probably that has something to do with why it's not working but I'm gonna go ahead and hook up these little jumper wires and uh, touch this one to the battery and see if see if it works Go ahead and hook this thing up. Where's my, I got a bracket for a, oh yeah, that's a, I'm gonna get the bracket and I'm gonna sand it before I put it on here to make sure that it gets a really good ground before screwing it back in there. So I got that all cleaned up good and this is how it sits. This is how it sets down in the hole. So, put this, tighten this bracket on, good and tight. Yeah, so it goes like that. Now tighten this real tight on here, and um, then I hook it back up, and hopefully, it'll work. You know what? I want to do a test. I don't know if it's gonna, ooh, this wrench is hot from sitting out in the sun. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but, um, but I was thinking about this. I was wondering if I could get a, uh, uh, I got a little light tester that, uh, will come on if it's, if power's going through there. 
and I wonder if I touched one of the connectors that on the wires that I have down here to the let me just show you hang on okay I'm not sure if this uh, will pick up such small current or not but I'm gonna hook it to a K to I have the two wires that plug into the battery here I'm gonna hook this on one side and then I'm gonna stick this in the other one and then I'm gonna honk the horn and see if the light comes on. That way we'll see. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> well, I just hook the horn to it and honk it and see if it works. <laughs> that would be the best thing to do. Skip that step altogether. So, let's see here. Now, there's the two wires. Yep, that definitely worked. All right, let me just uh, put it all back together and we got a working horn. That, that was difficult screwing that back down in there. Uh, it was really hard to reach. Before I put the uh, uh, washer reservoir back in there, I'm gonna honk the horn in the truck and just <laughs> make sure that everything is working. Oh yeah. <laughs> now that's a horn. Well, just need to put the washer reservoir in and we'll be good to go. Okay, so I got this pump line. There's a little uh, ridge that runs along the bottom of this reservoir and that's where the line clips into so let me just see if i can push this pump down there Get it in between the reservoir and the there we go. Good. Okay, I think I could do the rest from the bottom. Well, you saw it all go. Uh, come out so go back in the same way so I won't uh, bore you with all of that but let me get it uh, taken care of I'm gonna fill the uh, reservoir back up and make sure that everything's working good and there's no leaks or anything like that and we'll be done got it all back together and um and uh, let me just turn on these windshield wipers and make sure that they work. And uh, we'll be done.
<laughs> Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.